What's up guys, the montage you're about to watch is taken from my full album reaction and review that's exclusive to Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel and become an MVB, there's a link below. So Brass Tracks are an American R&B hip hop production duo based in Alphabet City, Manhattan. So this is going to include some hip hop. Nice melody. That effect better be on Neural DSP. I think I bought the Polyphia package. Oh, come on. This is track one. Let's go. It's funny because I've been listening to a lot of jazz lately. Specifically, bad, bad, no, not good. This compliments what I've been listening to really well. Oh, I love this, dude. This is such a, this is different from Polyphia, but it's so Polyphia at the same time. This is such a jazzy section. I'm just trying to find a tab to this since I've already heard the song a bunch. I guess you have to buy the tabs. Damn, I'm crushing it on the drums. Holy shit, this is way more jazzy than I was expecting. Oh my god. The bass work on this. There he is, okay. Montreal to Canada represent. Clay's drumming is just it's a solo too. What what do you focus on? Oh I need some loons? Loons? I love loons in music. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> Do, 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 do. They tend to do that a bit, eh? They do, 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 like a lot of like glitchy kind of sounds, but it's not actually glitchy. Oh, oh, what? Key change into a different genre peak in that same effect? Okay, ABC. So this is the most out there for sure. I know some people don't like it, but honestly, hyper pop, like if you can accept it for what the music is, this is really, really friggin' well done. She's cute. I don't think I fully understood this video. It's like a whole bunch of different scenarios. I didn't even know that was Scott. It's so catchy and easy to follow, but it's so technical too. This music video is so incredibly well done. Oh yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Then vocals actually come through, taking a break from the instrumentals. Yeah, like you can kind of feel Polyphia's style, right? Okay. Polyphia's the bad, bad, not good of the rest of the rock world. Okay, that was a cool song. I think it was my least favorite. I, I like the how they're including vocalists. I just feel like the ideas were just a little bland. Hell yeah. Give me those trumpets. Maybe Clay won't even be on this. Or both Clays. Okay, that, that was more like interlude. Neurotica. So this song feels a little bit more classic. Polyphia. Very video game game me sound. And I think that's why the camera angles work so well. So Polyphia is so good musically, but there's something to be said about their choices and marketing with video creators and features is unlike other musicians. I got to talk about that during the review because I think that is massive, massive takeaway. Yeah, it's funny how they put that as a single.
That's like uh, near the bottom of my favorites. Chimera featuring Little West. Ooh, they're bringing back the acoustics. So Little West looks like another hip hop artist. I should assume that by Little. No rocks artist uses the word Little in their name. Oh. Ooh, oh, damn, this is... I like this more than Neurotica already. Going metal. Brown, brown. Less thumping, more gentle. Ooh, yeah, I love that. I love the mix of Latin with the metal. So much sound just being implemented. Ooh, now, now delay effect. Weird fill. More weird fills. Back to that. Filling up with the drums. Now here comes the little West. Good girl in a costume. It's your world when I'm with you. My new baby comes home. The best side was the best ride. She said that she really want to come out. Yeah, this song's a banger. Oh, Bloodbath featuring Chino! You know, all the features have incorporated rappers and pop artists and stuff, so it's cool that they're embracing like the rock and metal genres and not totally abandoning it. Glad to hear see a feature, especially Chino. They have to play a specific way for Chino. Ooh. Yeah, the giant guitars. Let's see, it makes sense. And a little bit slower pace, a little slower for the vocals. Because his vocals are dreamy, they're drawn out. God, they know how to compliment each other so well. Ooh. I'm afraid I don't know. See, I can see why they made music videos for the song that they chose, right? I love the soft, elegant kind of playing from Clay, right? And then kicking it when he needs to. So that guitar that he's playing is an Ibanez that was uh, famously played by Muhammad Sumiyaz uh, from Necrophagist, who's one of my guitar inspirations. Even though I'm probably saying his name wrong, Muhammad Sumiyaz. And they made a 27 fret, 7 string version of that guitar. They're a pretty handsome band, eh? <laughs> I think a lot of people know it too. And then, The King. I love his solo, man. I know some people are iffy about it. I've heard it so many times, I get it. <laughs> and I get the chairs that they're passing the chair to. Each generation's taking the turns on the chair. Oh, <laughs> She's guitar face, yeah. Great way to end the album. It's such a good song, man. It's funny because that's another song that I enjoyed on first listen. After a few more listens, loved it. Man. Okay, we got a lot to talk about, so let's move on to the review.